Hi, this is Michael Green, otherwise known as Dodgy from the Lightwave Forums. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial about what my plugin Update Bones does. Um, uh, mostly it's for adapting a rig from one character, uh, which you can see here, to another character. So um, when I rigged this character, I um, made his bones skeletons in Modeler originally. Um, you can see he can move his arms about and stuff, and uh, his shoulders deform okay. So I've got like a, a fairly decent, I think, rig for for him, which I tend to use on most of my other characters. Um, so if I go to Modeler, and if I load my object Hatter, which you may have seen in one of my other tutorials, Oh, there we go. You can see he's there. Okay. And what I've done, if we grab the man, is if I hide everything else apart from the skeletons, he had these set of skeletons in his body. Now all I did was copy these skeletons to the Hatter. So if I show you this, you can see the, the same Skelegons, all called the same, the same thing. So this is based off naming, so if the names match, this works. Um, you can see it's basically just deformed to fit the Hatter's frame. Okay, So it's the exact same bone layout, it's just deformed using modeler's tools uh, and symmetry to, to match the the hatter like this. So if we switch to layout and then we'll just replace this object with the hatter. You can see the rig does not fit him at all now. It's all over the place. But here we go to replace mg update bones .gn. and now it brings up this um, little UI. Uh, this can be used to convert a Skelegon rig to bones normally, um, but of course you won't have any rig on it. So uh, this is also set up for if you've got new bones. So for example, if you've added a tail in in the other in Modeler and you've drawn out some new bones for the tail, for example. You'll have activate new bones. Uh, you can do delete obsolete, obsolete bones, i.e. if you've deleted some bones in Modeler, then it'll you can switch that on and it'll remove them. But it will also, and pay attention here, it will reparent the children of those bones that are deleted to those deleted bones' parents, i.e. it kind of shortcuts the the parenting between their children and their parent. Um, so you shouldn't hopefully lose anything by deleting bones. Any of their children will still be parented to that bones parent, so it should keep it all nice and tidy. Uh, you can record pivot rotation, so that basically sets all their pivots to zero if you use that, and that's for new bones. Um, you can preserve current parenting, um, so if you turn that off and you delete, say, a bone, or uh, you add in a bone between two bones, then the child will sort of still be parented to the old parent and not the new sort of in-between bone. So you have to bear that in mind. Uh, you can move IK goals. Um, this is an option if you've moved sort of IK bones around. You probably want to move their goals to the where their new target is, um, and set up frame. So you just choose a frame which you want your setup to be laid out. And you go OK, and you can see it starts going through all the bones, faffing with them until it's all finished. Now you might see that some of the handles here have gone a little bit screwy, but if you go to rotate and just reset them. They go back to their pr proper position and rotation. 
um, and then you can see you can just move the bones it's still got all the animation uh, it's got all the setup that you had before of course if you've got like um, some sort of uh, you might have some positioning issues where um, you've moved these if it was a much bigger object for instance he's got some animation which goes up really too high for him because he's short um, or you can see on this hand up here it goes too high for the goal to reach for the, the arm to reach to um, so that kind of thing you still have but um, considering you had no rig two seconds ago um, I'd say it was pretty good um, what I tend to do as well if you might notice is these eyeballs I go to his bones uh, I tend to put the eyes out from the head so I don't have to use weight maps uh, if we just go to the eyes if I can find them There we go. All right. So this eye is out here. Um, now it's too far into the head there, so I'm just going to press J to reset it. And you can see it's 54.4. What I usually do is move the eyes and the bones that control them out, say 50 centimeters forward and say 50 centimeters sideways, and then just it means I can just delete or take 50 off both of those. And now you can see the eyes back in its correct position again. Do that for the eye left. So reset it to its um, default position, i.e. The, the sort of place where it was um, boned, and then just take 50 off its position and heading. And you can see that the, the eyes now work as well. So that saves you doing all that messy setup with bone strengths and things that you had to do before um, and you can just keep reusing that rig, you can change the rig and it will sort of, and if you've got the bones in the the skeletons in the next mesh it'll update to those bones and things, so if you've rigged a tail for example on a character then you can use that character as your basis for your new for a new tailed character as well or um, yeah, so it just becomes very easy to um, to play around with your rigs. Um, I just find it easy, mo easier moving the bones around in uh, Modeler than I do in Layout. So that's the whole point of this plugin. Uh, I hope you find that useful.